The wealth gap among Canadians is growing at a troubling rate, in fact. That means the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. All of that information, according to a new study out this morning, we've got our business host, Scott Peterson, looking through that study. What stands out? Well, what stands out is that uh, not only are they accumulating more wealth and have more wealth around them, but like a snowball, as they get richer, they're accumulating more and more wealth. Mm -hmm. And this is a study that we're listening to from the Broadbent Institute just this morning. Can you break down some of the numbers from that institute? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty shocking because I've been sort of holding this one back. But yeah. the top 10% now in Canada own about half the wealth in the entire country. So it's that dramatic at this point. And to put that into perspective, this is the dramatic breakdown of what we're looking at here. So if you go to the right of your chart, that red line there indicates the top 10 percentile of the country, meaning they own now, uh, that's close to 69%. That's when you include pensions in there. And the accumulation of assets at the level is faster than anywhere else. The poorest half of Canadians, when you go to the left of the screen, that means over 17 million <coughs> Canadians. They only own less than 6% of all that wealth and this is these are shocking numbers that we kind of knew it's the old saying of the rich get richer the poor get poorer but the highest concentration the biggest gap is in British Columbia where they the top 10 percent own 56 percent of everything the lowest is Atlantic Canada you could say that's the most democratic the top 10 percent only own about 32 percent of everything and when I looked at that chart I saw you know the, the the poorest of the poor and the wealthiest of the wealthy what about the middle class does the study say anything about that it doesn't because there was a study out recently that showed that the Canada's middle class actually surpassed the U.S. as being sort of the wealthiest as far as those those sort of barriers go as mm -hmm. far as the middle class goes but the study here says that that's not necessarily true that uh, anybody out there in the middle class thinks this doesn't affect me it does so here's Rick Smith he's the executive director of the Broadband Institute defending the study and also the idea that this doesn't affect middle class Canadians take a look what he has to say uh, one of the things you'll sometimes hear is, okay, fine, maybe we have some poor people, maybe we have some rich people, but, you know, those of us in the middle are doing just fine. I mean, this, uh, you know, our study, our, our number crunching show, so that's just uh, nonsense. The vast majority of Canadians uh, own very little. So he is saying that uh, this, is a, this is a problem that's not going away, basically. Let's have